Yeah. Moment when you. Okay. All right. We are recording. Okay. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> this could be our uh, hello. Welcome to the Coach's Cup. <laughs> Good afternoon and welcome to the Coach's Cup. I'm Sonia Green with Sonia Green Coaching. And I'm Judith Vender, yet to be uh, websited, <laughs> <laughs> yet to be determined. <laughs> Definitely not yet to be determined. But. Mm. So we started this podcast because we uh, are both finishing up the Life Coach School mm -hmm. as life coaches and weight coaches mm -hmm. um and we enjoy talking to each other about all of the things going on with with life coaching and we wanted to share that with the rest of you absolutely yeah so today we're going to talk about a basic tool a but essential tool in our coaching business which is the model mm -hmm. judith you want to you want to talk a little bit? You want to start us out <laughs> with our model talk? How do we start? Okay, so so why we chose the model is because we are finishing up the last um, few months of our um, training, and we are at the video stage, right? And so yeah. this week's homework was to record a video on the model, and Sonia and I were just kind of communicating about the model like what should we talk about well what's the most important thing about the model and what did I say Sonia <laughs> it's all important it's all important how do you pick out one one might be a little more important but I don't know <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think so we got we have because it all works together right it totally mm -hmm. all of those pieces work together and they work together in all of our lives um it's it's the foundation of coaching because once you figure out how to take apart the thoughts that you have about your life circumstances or what's going on in your life then you can really work mag work magic it it really is it it makes you know i'm in a particularly um unique situation that i've i've processed and worked through months of anxiety and for me looking back now that i'm on the other side it feels like you know i had all the pieces of the puzzle and my brain was constantly working to make this to figure out and it was the model these were the pieces of my puzzle and my it just took that long to um and lots of coaching to to finally get to the place where i'm i'm standing here doing a podcast with my friend Sonia and I am not even nervous. <laughs> yeah. And I, I think that's, you know, the reason it sometimes takes us so long to figure these things out on our own is because we're convinced that life happens to us, that right. we are just at the mercy of whatever comes up. Reacting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's, that's not a very powerful place to be, right? It's not a very powerful place to come from. No. Um, and so the model empowers us. Totally. With the ability to, to not only see those things, but then make some changes that we want to make. It's, it is it's so powerful. I, I love everything you said. It's so true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, let's, let's break it apart because, you know, we know, we know what these pieces are. We talk about them all the time, but for people who've never heard of the model, how would you explain a circumstance? Hmm. Okay. Well, okay. So it's a fact and it is, I think how it, you know, you can start out saying that it, that it's something that everyone would agree upon something that is, you know, like this is a pen, I'm a woman, this is a microphone. There are the simple facts, but I think the thing that excites my brain a little more right now is, is it's, it can be what someone said. That can be a fact. Yeah. And that's, you know, in relationships or if you're working with uh, business professionals, you know, mm -hmm. what your brain is going to interpret what they said as versus what they meant. And it can really help you, um, just to know that that's just, that's a circumstance. It's, it's not yeah. a thought. 
Yeah. Let me, let me give you a really specific example from a coaching client that um, I was talking to just last week and they've been married. She and her husband have been married for 25 years. And she said that multiple times, even recently, he has said to her, you're beautiful, but I wish you'd lose weight. Mm. I love you, but I wish you looked better. I wish you'd lose weight. Mm -hmm. And those words, Mm -hmm. you know, she has, she has taken that because she never fin, you know, that, that, but right there. Yeah. He meant one thing and she took it as another. Yes. I can see where you're going with it. (laughs) Like, oh yeah. (laughs) Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So the circumstance would be the actual words that he said. Mm -hmm. Right. I love you, but I wish you would lose weight. Right. The thought is that the thought that she had is probably something like, he's an ass. How could he say that to me? I don't know. I'm not I'm, good I'm enough. Gonna, I'm not good enough. Yeah. Yeah. He, he loves me, but he thinks I'm fat. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is that, is that true? I, you know, I, I don't know. I, he, I'm not coaching him. I'm coaching her. Absolutely. But that's what she's making that fact mean. Mm-hmm. Her brain is telling or, herself a story. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so that's, that's kind of the difference between a circumstance and a thought. A circumstance, you want to get real specific. You want to get super tight on that. And then it's whatever your thought is about that circumstance. Right. The, sen- the, sentence that your that your brain tells about that your opinion duly noted and and i guess that's that's important to think about too you said the sentence because you will be talking next week about doing thought downloads Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but when you're working in the model you want to take just one thought just one sentence super important to parcel out one at a time i again i would use the puzzle you know, each, each part is super important and, you know, you can't have a a big mess of a puzzle pieces. So you have to pull one out at a time. Yeah. One thought, one thought. And then those thoughts that we have, Mm -hmm. this is where I think most people think we start here because those thoughts produce a feeling. Right. And I think most people would say, this made me feel a certain way. Mm -hmm. This, he said he loved me, but that made me feel something. And they skip the thought, but really it's that thought that's creating the feeling. Right. Totally. Uh, Feelings are super important. And all the feeling is, is is, it's just the, it's the vibration that your thought creates in your body, that, that emotion in the, in that moment based on that thought. Yeah. And talk for a minute about how we know that it's that the thought comes before the feeling. That's something that, (laughs) well, how do we know? Because we have about 60,000 thoughts a day. Our brain is constantly processing um, our environment, looking for input to, to save us because we still have the same brain that has, that the caveman had and it's based on survival. So it's just a large computer taking in the information. Yeah. Creating thoughts is, do I need to process this? Is this going to kill me? Um, what does this thought mean mm-hmm, about my survival? Yeah. And the, um, I didn't set you up as well as I should. <laughs> oh, <laughs> delete. No, no, but one, one of the things that I was thinking about there is the, you know, one of the ways we know that the thought comes first is because it produces different feelings. The circumstance produces different feelings in different people. Oh, yes. I'm so sorry. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We have so much to give. We just can't decide. You know, we've got to, we got to put it all in there. So just like in this moment, in this podcasding moment. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Thinking and I'm thinking. <laughs> that's perfect. Right. Right. And that produces a feeling and you know, that's, that's unique to us. We but can't yeah. read each other's mind. <laughs> Sometimes we do. Right. Sometimes. Not today. 
<clears throat> but yeah, we know that, that that feeling is, is derived straight from the thought. Mm -hmm. It's not the fact because the fact of somebody saying something, different people react differently to that. So it's the thought that I have or that you have. <laughs> Although oddly enough, both of us had the same thought about those words that were said, I guess, because right. we're women with husbands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Well, we feel we have compassion for that. Yeah, exactly. Because you know what, until we had our thought work, you know, I can't say that I haven't felt the way uh, your client did. Oh yeah. I, I mean, I think that that's absolutely the truth. Uh, we, many women, even if our husbands don't say that we think because of thoughts in our own brains that we're not good enough, we think similar things. Absolutely. So, yeah. yeah. All right. So we've covered the C, the T, the F. You want to talk about the A? Actions, you that know, a line. it used to be my, um, favorite thing to say would be, you know, I'm a big action girl. I'm a big action girl. I like action. And I think it would have been more appropriate looking back that I'm a reaction girl, but <laughs> actions, <laughs> actions are things we do or things that we don't do based on our feelings. Because Sonia, why do we do anything? What have we learned? Because of a thought. Because of a thought and, and what our thoughts create our feelings and we do yeah. things for the feeling. Yeah. We'll do anything Oh, yeah. uh, what motivates us is, is the feeling. Mm -hmm. So um, the action is what drives the feeling drives the action and the actions are things we do or not do. Yeah. Like the wife, I don't know your client wondering what, what did she, how, what was her? Well, you know, part of it was that she had, she had a lot of things in her action line as we often do, because it can be actions or inactions, right? Mm -hmm. So one of the things is she had felt herself kind of pull away from that relationship because right. she was trying to protect herself. She was afraid she was going to be hurt right. in that relationship. So she was starting to pull away. Mm -hmm. um, another thing is that she had felt herself become a bit resistant to weight loss. Interesting. And you know, that those are, those are things that we examine more, but that was based on that feeling that she felt of, um, I guess it's, we, we didn't, we didn't talk about what specific feeling, um, but we covered, we went through a model with a couple of different feelings and from a feeling of fear, then she was pulling back and protecting herself in the relationship mm -hmm. because she, um, and she wasn't showing up at work the same way mm. because of fear that she might lose, lose the relationship. All right. So from a place of fear, you and I both know that that, that um, her result, which would be the, the um, what, the actions create mm -hmm. for her. Um, I can't quite remember the thought that we had, but it's going to, her, her result is going to mirror that thought and it's not going to be good if she's coming from a place of fear. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She, her thought was um, that I'm not good enough to be in this oh. relationship. Yeah. Yeah. And so from those actions that she was taking, pulling back from the relationship, then that's, you know, she's not showing up. Right. She was pulling out of the relationship. She yeah. was pulling herself out. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, so, so sad. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, that's, that's the beauty of it is that it is, it is sad, but now she's aware of it. Oh, oh, oh I'm glad this has a good ending. Sonia. <laughs> <laughs> glad you coached her on that. <laughs> Well, but, it, but that's it, right? I mean, it doesn't always change. She might still have some, mm -hmm. some negative feelings about it. But she can carry it, but she can look across and now she has perspective and awareness. Yeah. And mm -hmm. she knows that it's not him saying that that's making her feel anything. It's her thought. What she's making it mean. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So good. Yeah. So, um, talk a little bit about with yourself, what, 
the transformations that you've kind of gone through using the model with, with your anxiety. Okay. Um, did we introduce ourselves? <laughs> we did. We did. I mean, <laughs> but did we do our little background about, Oh no, we didn't. Did we? we didn't. No. Look at that. You I know. So I'm thinking I'm a little bit like, okay, well, yeah, we're so excited. Okay. Yeah. So I'll cut here in, in our editing and then we'll put that back in the beginning. You think we could just freelance this out right now? All right. We'll do it. <laughs> to yeah, help B minus work. What else have we learned? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I guess I was wondering, like, did we talk about this or did we? So, yeah, you, you talked a little bit about your anxiety, but you didn't go into to some of the detail of the thought work that you've been doing over the last okay. few months. So I'm trying to, you know, a good, a good place to start on this was, first of all, it's not this problem that I'm having with anxiety is not a new problem. Um, and looking back from this perspective on that now, I can see the patterns in my life and why I did the things that I did and connect, put all the pieces of the puzzle together. So, um, I, I had had a longstanding anxiety around public speaking and, a job opportunity was looking like it was coming in my future and it would involve possibly some public speaking. And I thought I'm going to join the life coach school, right? This would be a great skill to have. I'm going to be doing some public speaking because you know, that's what you got to do when you're in life coach school. So I get in and things all kind of happened at once and long story short, I had a job interview and it was great. It was great. There were some really great things said. It was not a, was, not a no, really it was a not now. <laughs> and it was early in life coach school, right? It was very early. Yes. Yeah. We'd only been there about um, two months, maybe. Yeah. So all the while, you know, I literally was to a point where with my thoughts about what was said to me and what I was making it mean, I had, um, I had worked myself into a hot mess and a panic attack. I literally felt the blood leave my brain and it was on for several weeks. Fast forward to say that through all the coaching that we received by coaching our peers and going through self-coaching scholars and that we get, we have access to free coaching 20 minutes a week. Um, that I was able to really process my anxiety one piece of the puzzle at a time. Here I am, it's June, what is that, like seven, eight months later. Mm -hmm. And I literally dropped my anxiety story about a month ago. And it, it has just been absolutely freeing. And I was just telling you earlier what I really realized. It was the judgment I was placing on myself yeah. when I was making it. And, and it took me, and it just feels so good. I, I don't know. I'm jumping around. Maybe you have some specific questions for me to help focus in that could be helpful for the listeners. No, I, it's amazing. I wish there was some way to show like what, how far you've come with this because none of us ever thought mm. that you were an anxious person. You didn't present as an anxious person. Even when I had the tear and that one coaching. <laughs> okay, at that point you did, but until then, you know, you, anybody would have thought, wow, she's got it together. She's so sharp. She always looks so professional and ready to go. And nobody could have seen that bubbling under the surface. Yeah. Yeah. But then once it did, and, and I guess too, because, you know, we've, we talk more than, uh, than the average person talks to you. <laughs> right. Um, seeing that it was like, it was like you had taken on this really heavy mantle and were just carrying it around. And I did, I, yeah. I wore it and it was, it yeah. was heavy. It was all the things I cannot, I, I would be curious to go back through all my journaling and through all the coaching to really, to look at it now, which I'm, I don't know that I want to, but the, the one I remember processing was shame because Oh gosh, shame, shame was so hard. It when it was that it was the heaviness, yeah. the shame around anxiety, the shame around not being good enough, the shame around, like it just brought up all the things that I hadn't thought about. Cause I, <laughs> all it was, was an interview. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. I mean, it, you know, on the one hand, all it was, but the thought you were having about Woo! it 
this is the interview. This is right. the thing I have been wanting. This is the thing I have been waiting for. And so it became bigger than real life. Right. And how often do we make things bigger than real life? Uh, if you're someone like me, you <laughs> might do it a lot. Uh, I, like I said, I can look back at, you know, at the age I'm at now. We, we're not going to discuss age, but um, getting better. I have some years on me and some experiences. And like I said, this is not a new problem, but this is such a great place to have perspective and to have worked through because now I know how to recognize the feelings in my body. I'm, I know the thoughts that are going to cause those feelings and how to redirect, yeah. redirect my brain and know, yeah, I've got this. This is not a problem. You, and, and I haven't asked you this before, so I, I apologize for putting you on the spot here, but do you remember what like that one moment, was there kind of a light bulb moment when you were like, oh, it's judgment. I've been, Oh, do you it remember? was today. It was today. <laughs> yeah. What a great segue. Right. Okay. So like I said, like it was like a month ago that I, like some of the coaching that I had received was like, you know, you bring anxiety along with you. And you know, the coaches, coaches doing wonderful coaching things, like really offering such good coaching to me and showing me and pointing the path. And I could hear them, but I remember thinking things like, this is crazy. <laughs> I I think they are. Anxiety. But uh, all this to say it worked. I let go and I left it at the door, my anxiety. And then today as I'm making videos for the model to, to send to life coach school, to, to send for the, for the new job application. Mm -hmm. um, I'm like, Oh my gosh, all along it has, all of this has been created in my mind based on my self judgment of me. Yeah. And that is just incredible, like an incredible place to stand and look. Yeah. And it's, I mean, you, you have just thrown that, that mantle off. Yeah. Can you uh, see it? I, I mean, I can, I, you know, <laughs> it's, it's hard to describe for somebody who hasn't been through it with you, but it's, it's pretty amazing. It is. Uh, three months ago, this would not have happened this, but I, I th in fact, I think we talked about it three months ago and I was like, I'm going to get out of this. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. And was it just last week we ordered our microphones because yeah. I was like, you said you sent me the picture and I'm like, ordered it. <laughs> I'm so proud. Oh, me too. Me too. It's but you know, that's, that's the beauty of, of thought work. And it did take coaching. You didn't figure, you didn't get there on your own. Eventually you did. But the but, value of the coaching of having I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, not only was I self-coaching, but I was, I'm a verbal processor. Mm -hmm. I could, I was writing things and realizing I was really in trouble around uh, late December, early January, when I could intellectually see, I'm pulling my thoughts out, but I still felt like shit. It's okay if we cuss. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I'm like, this is not, something's not right here. And it was the, it was the love of every coach and every person that I interacted with and it, it was coaching from you. It was coaching from my other peers and the coaching through, through school that got really loved me and held that space mm -hmm. for me to cry and take ownership of where I'm at in my life and to, to unpeel the onion. Right? Yeah. Was, yeah, it, it's really, it, it really, I'm really just so grateful standing here today that, that I, I have had all the interactions that I've had and then I kept working at it because <laughs> I was paralyzed. Judgment's a weird thing. Oh. It, uh, you know, we're convinced that everybody is judging us all the time Yeah, when you know, I try to tell my daughter, uh, I have a 19 year old daughter and I'm like, really, nobody's paying attention to you. They're all living their own lives. It's, They're all trying does. to survive. It's, it's that judgment that we throw on ourselves. Absolutely. And yeah. we have to shine a light on it. You mentioned shame, you know, Brene Brown has that thing that shame can't exist. It can only exist 
in darkness in darkness yeah and when you shine a light on it yeah yeah it just and you know what's so interesting even like ugh, thinking about it like those those were some dark days i remember some very very dark days mm -hmm. uh, but i didn't give up i didn't give up i kept looking at it and it took it took time and it was so well worth it yeah. absolutely all right. Any, yeah. any last things you want to say before we go? Oh gosh. Did we cover everything? I was thinking <laughs> we should have some question we should ask ourselves. Like, um, you know, if you could leave, if you could tell the listeners one thing that they could do right now that would, you know, make their day go better or their week go better or, you know, you mean other than signing up for coaching <laughs> with me? Yeah. <laughs> Shameless about, plug there. Right. Well, besides that, like, yeah. uh, maybe we have, you know, what, what insight I would say, just try to break this down, you know, in your, in your own life, are you struggling with something? Can you figure out what the fact is, what the indisputable fact is, and then what thought you're having about it? Right. I, I would, I would bounce off that even one more, like, it's interesting that you would come in that way, but I would be like, I would ask the listeners or whoever, whoever's catching this to catch a feeling. Cause it seems like sometimes catching a feeling could right. be a little easier. You're like, yeah. you know, I feel terrible. I feel sad. Or, you know, this is exciting. And you're ask yourself, why am I feeling this way? And then you, that could get you to the thought. Yeah. And you can figure out, you know, it's just, it's just breaking it down and realizing these five, what are five universal, what do we call them? Parts of the world. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. Yeah. Those five parts, uh, parts of the model. Yeah. And Absolutely. no, you're right. It is, it is easier. I think sometimes to, uh, to catch our feelings because I catch myself sometimes, you know, just feeling down and not really knowing why. Until I sit down and work backwards. Yeah. Yeah. So good. And Sonia, I, I'm going to, this might be a good ending point because you know what I was going to say? What? I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're going to sing. And that's how the far microphone, she's come. ladies and gentlemen, that's how far she's come. <laughs> All, right. All right. If you're interested in learning more about coaching, you can contact me at sonyagreen.com that's sonya with a y green like the color sonyagreencoaching.com i should probably get the website right yeah, yeah. yeah. all right and we would love to to have you with us again next week okay thanks guys we have our coaches cup all right cheers <laughs>